So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this rolling can effect in Elementor. You can put whatever image you want around the can and it'll work pretty well. It just has to be designed in a square so that you have the front and the back. So without further ado, let's get started. For those of you who don't want to build it yourselves, I do have a link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to the complete template here on my website. You just go and download it and then I'll just show you quickly how to install it before carrying on with the tutorial. Once you've downloaded the file from my website, you're going to have the zip file. All you have to do is extract what's in it and you're going to have these two files over here. The one is just the PDF saying thank you and showing how to install it there through the PDF and the other is the actual template itself. So to install it, you'd go into the back end of your WordPress website. You go and create a new page. Once the Elemental Page Builder has loaded up, we go and click on this icon over here where it says Add Template. In this new window, we're going to say Import Templates over here. And then this template file, all you have to do is drag it into this window and let go. It's going to give you this warning. It's fine. It's just for JSON files, which the templates are. We say Continue. And then in the same window, under My Templates, you're going to see the Rolling Can Effect template. So all you have to do is go and say Insert. Once you've uploaded the template, you are going to be having a screen that looks like this. There aren't going to be the cans over here because there is one small change that you have to do. So here in the navigator, you got the can section, the cans, the text here for the blue can, the text for the red, and then you have the actual cans themselves. So if you click on the blue can, under advanced, if you go down to the custom CSS, there is this URL over here that you have to change. So in the media library, you'll have the images loaded up for that template. So all you do is you click on the silver can, you copy that URL, and then over here, you just paste that URL in, and then you'll see the can appear. The same thing for the red one. You go to advanced, go down to custom CSS, and you just change this URL over here, and then the can will appear. That doesn't change when you upload the template. It's hard coded in the custom CSS. So you are just going to have to make that small change and then the can will function just like it does in this tutorial. Now for everyone else who's not going to be using the complete template, I'm going to show you how to build this yourself. So here is a blank canvas that we're going to go and make that whole rolling can effect. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to need the outer container. So we're going to say the flex box and we're going to choose this main container right over here. Now for the settings of this container, I'm going to change it to full width. Make sure that's on 100%. The min height, I'm going to change this to VH. And I'm going to say that this is 100. Okay, so now that I've done the min VH of 100 for the height, make sure the direction is down. And then for justify content, I'm just going to put space around. And then for the style, it doesn't really matter over here. You can put whatever you want. Uh, I think over here, I'm just going to put like a slight little gradient. So I'm going to go for a white on top and a slight gray on the bottom. Again, it doesn't really matter what you put there. It's completely your design. Now, on the right hand side, I'm going to double click on this word container and I'm going to rename it. It's just so that I can keep track of this. So if ever I want to come back and edit this, I know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to call this the can section. And then the last thing we have to do to the can section is we go to advanced and we're just going to set the padding to zero. Now inside this can section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get another container. So I'm going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to click and drag this container widget inside here and let go. Now before I do anything with this, I'm going to double click on this name and I'm just going to say cans. So for the settings of this cans the container, I'm going to make sure that this is full width and at 100. The direction, I want this horizontal. The just of our content, I want it center and align items center. And then the gaps over here, I'm going to put this at maybe a 30. I'm going to unlink this and I'm going to put the row at a zero. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advanced and then align self to center as well. So what we're going to add into this container is we're going to add two containers. One is going to be for text and one's going to be for the can. So I'm going to click on this plus sign, get another container, put it in, let go. And then I'm just going to duplicate this container. Now for the settings of these two containers, we don't really have to do too much. They are already full width. We are pretty much good to go over there. But on the right hand side in the navigator, double click on the first one. And I'm going to say blue can text. And then the second one, I'm going to say that this is the blue can. Okay, so now we have what we need over there. If you want to have the red one as well, just like in this example over here, I had the two there. All you have to do is duplicate these two containers on this side and then just swap them around. Okay, for the blue can text container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a heading. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm also going to put in the text editor. Over here, I'm going to change the heading just to blue product. And then the 
color of this and the style i'm going to change this to maybe black and then for the text i'm going to make this black as well and then the final things i'm going to do i'm just going to center justify both of these things okay now let's go and add that can so what we're going to do is here on the blue can itself we are not going to be using an image in here we're actually going to be using the container itself to represent the can so under style for this container of the blue can here in the background type i'm going to click classic and then i'm going to choose the can image here now in the description of this video there's going to be a link that's going to take you to a reference page on my website over there you're going to have the images to download for this tutorial as well as a very small snippet of code that we're going to be putting into this container see here's where that link will take you we scroll down and over here is where you can download the images that we're going to be using and then that's that code that i was talking about okay so now that you have downloaded the images what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on this image background over here and we're going to select that silver image that you got from our website it's just the empty can this is what we can wrap around all our designs on and then we're going to click on that and then we're going to put it into place there okay so for the settings of this we're going to keep it full the position we're going to go center center and then the display size we're going to say cover okay so now we're done with the background image the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the background overlay here we're going to click on the classic we're going to choose that blue image that you downloaded we're going to say select and now you can see it's over the can over there we're going to do the same type of settings so position is center center we're going to make sure it's on full and the display size is cover and then we're going to go to opacity we're going to say that this is one and then the blend mode we're going to say that this is multiply so now you can see that the can is actually showing through the image that we just put as an overlay this works way better than just doing on opacity because in opacity it does like a weird graying effect at least like this now it actually brings out all the colors if we go over to advanced and we go down to the custom css we're going to be putting some code over here so if we head back into a reference page on my website over here you're going to see this little piece of code we're just going to say copy and we're going to paste that right here into this custom css now you can see that everything disappeared now that's for a reason because we need a url over here so what we're going to be doing is using the silver can to overlay as a mask so that we cut out that blue image that we had put as a background overlay because otherwise it's going to be a square image and then you won't actually have the design of the can so if you go into your media library this can that you had downloaded we click on that and then we're just going to copy this url right over here and here in the editor all we're going to do is replace this text that says your image path we're going to paste that url so now you can see there's that image being displayed right over here but it doesn't look exactly right and it's not hovering it's just to do the actual mask around so that this image bends to the can as such so now let's go and position this can properly so now if we go back into style and we go down over to the background overlay we're going to change this from center center to center left so now you can see how the image is actually lining up now if we go over to hover here in the background overlay and we choose the background type as the, the same thing so we're going to say the classic and then we're going to upload that exact same image and over here we say full position is going to be center right so when we hover it does that then the opacity we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to one the transition duration we are going to set this to 0.5 so now you can see it's a lot smoother and then the last thing to do is put this place size as cover here as well so now we have the whole transition working now on the example that i showed you you saw that as i'm actually hovering over it was making that whole zooming up effect as well so we're going to take care of that right now so in order to do that whole scaling while we're actually doing on the hover if we go up to advanced and we come down to transform we're going to skip this normal mode and we're going to click on hover right over here the offset here under hover i'm going to put this to minus 20 on the y and then the scale i'm going to put this on to a 1.05 so as i hover over you can see how it's growing up there again and that's all the settings that we need to do to this container so now it's in order to actually make the red container we're going to go and duplicate these two containers right here on the right hand side so this blue can i'm going to right click and duplicate and then the blue can text right click duplicate and then i'm going to drag this to the bottom so now you can see that there's the two cans and then there's a the text on either side but the first thing we're going to do before we edit anything over here is we're going to change the naming here in the navigator 
So the second blue can, I'm going to say that this is red. And then the blue can text underneath, I'm going to change that to red can text. Okay. Then the last thing I have to do is this title, just change it to red as well. So now it says red product. So now we're going to change the wrapping of this can over here. So I'm going to click on the red can. I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to background overlay. And then change the blue picture to the red one. Let's say select. And then for the settings over here, I've made it in the opposite direction. So the position from center left is going to be center right. And then in hover, I'm going to change the picture as well. Say the red one. And then position from center right to center left. So now we've got this can that goes this way and we have that can that goes that way. And that is everything that we have to do here in desktop. So if we go look at this on the tablet, it looks okay there as well. But in mobile, we're going to have to change two things over here. So if we go into the mobile view, you can see there's a text, there's the first can, there's a second can, and the text over here. Now this isn't ideal. We want the text first, can, text second, second can. So if we click on the red can text container and we go to advanced, here in the order, we're going to say that this is order three. And then if we click on the red can itself, you do the same thing, go to advanced, in the order, we're going to say that this is four. So now you can see there's text, can, text, and can. Now, if you want to have this can smaller on mobile, you can do that. You can just click on the can, and then you can actually give it a custom layout width under pixels. So like over here, the width, you can make it maybe 200 if you want, and it'll work just as far, it'll work just fine like that. It'll only affect mobile because you're in the mobile settings. So you can really go and play around to exactly how you'd want this thing to look. Now that we've done all of that, this thing is ready to go. So the final thing is we just have to publish. Very easy thing to do, very cool effect. I do like it a lot. Do play around with your own wrapping designs. It is just that square, you can really go to town. I like this darker look over here. Something to keep in mind when you're designing your image is make sure it's a PNG so that you can have transparency on the top and bottom. So like over here, you can see there's got that silver lip. Just put a little bit of space in your design so that it's just completely transparent there on the silver on the top. And if you want to, and a lot of cans, they have the silver at the bottom as well. So you just give a little bit of space over there to make sure it's transparent. And then your design is going to look really, really cool. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.